All right, so today I'm just gonna show you guys all the parts that I have so far for the engine. So I don't think I ever showed you guys, but I have all of these parts right here and I still don't have an engine stand. So I'm probably gonna get that next week or so. Uh, but this is everything that I have right here. So I'm just gonna go over everything and I'm gonna total everything up to see how much I spent. So I'll probably put it up on screen right here on how much I spent so far, including labor. And that'll give you kind of like a rough idea of how much more I have to spend. All right, so I got all the parts right here. And the reason why I haven't started assembling yet was because of that right there. So I don't know if you can actually see that, but this one actually has lines going down the middle. I don't even know if that's lines, but you know, it's not clear. You can see something right there. So that's not good. So the crankshaft has to get polished and I kind of wanted to avoid this, but now it's inevitable and I have to get it done. Um, some of them look good, some of them don't, uh, but one specifically has some serious problems. There's another line around. Alright, so this is the problem right here. So this line right here, I can feel it with my finger, and that ain't good. Um, this has a little bit of scuffs right here, but that should be able to, they should be able to fix that. But this journal right here, if I can get it without having the reflection in the way um, you can see all those marks on that that don't look good uh, so when I first bought it I thought everything was good I thought it looked good but after closer inspection and better light you know that, that doesn't look too good I just wish my camera could focus better That's as good as it gets. So all of that is a problem. And it's really hard to rotate this because it's so heavy, but all of that does not look good at all. So I gotta get that fixed. All of these other ones look okay, but I mean, they're gonna need to be polished too which delays me assembling everything and I still need an engine stand to start so gotta get that too alright so moving on I got the bearings never opened them yet uh, no reason to actually cause you know we're not at the assembling stage yet but the head already has lost motion assemblies in it so thanks Rob for the extras but I really did not want to have to replace these so now I'm just gonna leave them in not clicking at all so that's cool. None of them. Hey, wait. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess that one's clicking. But it's not sticking, so I guess that's okay, right? So the head is fine. I'm going to leave that the way it is, and that's that. Uh, the block, we already know it got decked, bored, honed. Everything's good with that. Now I have two sets of cams here, like I said in the last video. These are the B16 cams, these are the GSR cams. That cam gear won't come off. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to get that off, probably with like an impact or something. GSR pistons, no that's wrong. These are Type R, reps. These are type R replica pistons with connecting rods, you already know that. And then these are the dual valve springs with uh, retainers and all that good stuff. Like I said, so everything is here. Like everything is here. Also, I got an oil pan gasket for that right over there. And then there's the timing belt back there. And then this is the oil, the oil strainer. Uh, what's it called? It says it on here somewhere. The oil strainer gasket or oil pickup gasket. So I needed this too because I didn't have this last time. But this is everything really I need to get started. Uh, but like I said, the only thing that's holding me back is this. But I have to ask you guys one question. So, you know, I was thinking about assembling the motor stock-ish uh, for the time being and then upgrade later in the future. But, you know, now that I think about it, installing these on my head, you know, seems kind of pointless. Um, so I'm thinking about getting 
um, aftermarket dual valve springs, but I wanted to somehow manage to keep the stock retainer because titanium retainers are not very daily friendly. Now I spoke to Skunk too and they said that, oh yeah, it should work fine, but then again, I just feel like they're trying to sell a product to me and then, you know, once the warranty is voided, then they're just going to say, oh, well, you got to buy new ones, you know. So I kind of want to avoid that, but I really don't know what I should do. So I'm going to ask you guys. So if I can find a way to run aftermarket valve springs with um, some sort of steel or OEM retainer and use my GSR cams for the time being, that way when it's time to upgrade my cams, I can do so without having to, you know, strip the whole entire head again. So if you guys can figure out a way to do that, then I will buy aftermarket valve springs and possibly buy uh, another set of cams, but, you know, that's just pushing it. Tax season's coming around, but then again, the whole accident thing kind of took away all my money. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, this is just a progress video um, and why I haven't been working on this engine yet. Now, I do have the uh, alternator over there, if I can zoom in on it. So that's the alternator back there. Uh, again, thanks, Rob. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna get that, but you know, you hooked me up anyway. So I got that, and I have everything here. Like everything is ready to go. I just need a valve cover, and um, what else do I need for this to to actually assemble it? Oil pump and water pump, and then I'm set. You know, and a head gasket and ARP head bolts. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have, and. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep moving along here. So, we're, we're really close. Uh, I started building this engine in November, and here it is January, and I'm almost done. So, I was kind of expecting to finish in, like, August, because I wasn't sure how much this was all going to cost me. But, you know, I'm, like, halfway there, if not more, so that's awesome. So, it's going to go in soon. Uh, once I finish, I'm probably going to put it in. I may do, like, maybe one or two more track days and then just drop it in because I don't care, you know, who cares, just drop it in. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited and I will see you guys in the next one. That's all they write.